Good morning, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, we're, what are we in now? March. We're already into the second week of March. Uh, summer is officially over in Australia, but summer has actually arrived. Uh, we've got uh, constant every day around 30 degrees C uh, weather, whereas before we had ups and downs into the 40s and down into the 20s and rain and more rain and extra rain. Uh, the East Coast suffered a lot more than the West. But anyway, all that's good and uh, we're getting... Um, uh, back into it. It's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera and uh, unfortunately our uh, slow internet is, is to blame for that and it doesn't look like we've got anything in the near two years coming into my area uh, that's going to improve that so that's causing me no end of pain. Um, so uh, yeah we're, we're looking forward to be able to go to the US again uh, to the Barzi uh, Summer Bash 2017 and uh, another one of my country people, um, Emma Ritson, will be there, and uh, John Mills from uh, from Great Britain. So it's going to be a ball. Um, now, today I'm going to talk about my uh, rotator. Now, some years ago, I built a um, well before um, Adam Booth went into building one. Um, uh, I, I built a, a rotator, I've, I've built a few over the years, but the, the one here for my workshop about five years ago, uh, and it was an unfinished project. And that, that was, um, I built a, a bearing system, I mounted on that a one metre diameter, a three foot uh, face plate, and that was my, um, that was my plate for using for uh, doing all sorts of jobs, for welding on, uh, for uh, setting up um, uh, all sorts of things that needed to be jigged up and so forth and uh, I mounted it on a, on a shaft, a, a homemade shaft and so, so forth and I also um, put on a gearbox and had the motor and everything but never actually went to motorise it and now uh, a job's come in and after a long time of me wanting to finish this project I've decided now to get stuck into it and do it and uh, that, that'll be a rotating um, uh, fixture and uh, it's probably in time I'll also articulate it so that I can actually change the angles as well. At the moment it'll be a vertical, uh, it'll have a plate on the top and we can fix to that any, any sort of fixtures we want. So I'll show you what um, the job is and what the, <coughs> and the, old, the old rotator system and what I intend to do with it. So around here, and I'll just swing it down a bit. And bring it in a bit. Yeah, so th there's a flange and, and, a, and a reducer that I've just machined up to fit in here. And I have another flange similar to this that I have to machine up. And uh, that will be welded on there. So I need to weld it. Um, in both sections, <coughs> here and inside, and here and inside as well. Um, so, this is the uh, where are we? This is the rotator that I built. I'll pan that out. I'll bring it down further. Yeah, so, that, this is the rotator I built. It's got three little legs on it, a plate underneath, a, bar, a beam up. A box that I made with two bearings and a gearbox below. And uh, the motor, I've always had the motor, the motor will be mounted in. I've got to make a mounting plate, um, probably set it up like this with the power outlet here. I'll make a bit of a skirt to go over uh, to protect that. I'm going to use my foot, my foot rheostat for my TIG welder. Um, and I've also got somewhere here. Yeah, I've got uh, this uh, uh, Mikado um, uh, VFD, then, which I, I, I use and sell quite a few of these. Uh, and this one's for 0.75 kilowatt, which is the same size as this motor. So I'll be giving it some thought over the weekend of whether, uh, whether I cut this off here and make a folding arrangement to go on my welding bench. Uh, and work out uh, also an articulate 
uh, articulate anything, but that'll be the future, that'll be stage three. Stage two, uh, I'll take off this flange and flip it over and it'll be the base flange. I'm also uh, going to be getting a ring and brushes from uh, a friend of mine who has a, um, uh, has a, a rewind uh, business. I'll be getting that on Monday and uh, I'll be setting that up as well. So once I've got that, I'll know exactly how the configuration here, what I've got a machine and so forth. Um, what I had originally, um, if we can see over there, um, that's, that's the faceplate that I had on it before. <coughs> but um, uh, as you all know, um, space in my workshop is, a, is at a premium, like in everybody's workshop, I, I, I should say. <coughs> but for me, that one metre diameter uh, circular plate was just too much and I had to, had to take this rotator out. And it's been outside in the waiting room for a while now and uh, I've now decided... I, I took it out when I bought the, the second new mill in. And which I must admit, um, the, the, the mill here, uh, I haven't had a chance to... Um, I haven't had a chance to do much with it at all. It's, um, I've, I've started the electrics down there. I've done a lot of mounting up of things. I've, I've got the uh, four axis uh, DRO uh, and I've got a, still got a fair bit of work. I've cleaned it up but I've still got a fair bit of work and it's sitting here waiting and I haven't had a chance in the last two months to even look at it. Um, we've got a couple of jobs that come in this morning as well. Uh, this poor crown wheel has seen better days. Uh, but it's actually come to me not for the crown wheel. They've got a new one to replace it. This is electric diff locker But more to get these broken bolts out this One two three four. This is off a giant uh, uh, Jeep with these giant wheels that um, bounce up and down and uh, and uh, they do all sorts of damage to themselves so uh, That's about it for the moment I've, um, we'll, we'll just watch this space and we'll be back